Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum everyone. Today we are going to conduct lecture number 56 of our course. And in this course, we will learn about port B change in corrupt and how to enable them, right? So let's start our lecture. Okay, what are port B change in traps and how to enable them? First of all, we need to know what are port B change in traps. These pins are basically associated with these four pins, RB4, RB5, RB6, and RB7. So there are four different pins which are related to port B change interrupt. And uh, uh, these are similar to external hardware interrupts because these uh, pins can be attached to the external sensors, right? But it is different from hardware uh, from external hardware interrupts from this point of view that those hardware interrupts works on ages, right? Either they were working, they were generating interrupts on positive age or they were generating on negative age, right? We learned that they, those can be configured as negative age, but these uh, interrupts are different because they do not work on ages. They work on levels, either uh, if these pin status goes from zero to high or one to zero, that means status of these input pins should be changed. That is why these are known as port B change interrupt. These pins are present in port B and they changes their status. For example, if a uh, level of RB4 goes from high to low, that is means this is a change. For example, RB6 goes from low to high, right? So earlier it was zero and later on it becomes one. That means it is a change. So uh, these pins works on levels means low or high, high or low, or they have some change, right? And furthermore, there is no uh, distinguish between high or low, right? Uh, because we are concerned only with change. Uh, if it was one, it should be zero. If it was uh, zero, it should be one. So it will be considered a change right? And these are present in port B. So they actually known as port B change interrupts, right? So if any of these four pins goes uh, to a change, that means they change their status from zero to one or one to zero, then what is going to happen? Their interrupt flag will become uh, high. Interrupt flag, interrupt flag is a bit which is present in interrupt control register. This is the interrupt control register. So that flag will become equals to one whenever these interrupt pins receive a change, right? But uh, this interrupt will definitely proceed towards uh, microcontroller only if we have enable it. So how one can enable it? There is a bit of RBIE, which is uh, board B change interrupt enable. So you have to uh, enable it one, this bit is also present in interrupt control register and you have you have to also globally interrupt enable right so look this is the end gate for uh, port b change interrupts one input is rbif which is interrupt flag of port b change and other input is rbie which is interrupt enable of port b change port b interrupt right or port b change interrupt right uh, so uh, if we have made let's consider we have made GIE equals to one, right? GIE is equal to one and RBIE is equal to one. Let me write it. So how one can do it? It's very simple. BSF, uh, interrupt control register, RBIE, it is uh, enabled. Then BSF, interrupt control, comma, GIE. So if these two lines are written, that means we have provided uh, RBIE equals to one and RBI uh, GIE is equals to one. Then what is going to happen if any of these four pins going to change their statuses? So RBIF would become one and there will be one and that AND gate will proceed its output to this OR gate and this OR gate. Uh, I have actually uh, terminated all other inputs of these OR gates uh, because I wanted to show just port B change interrupts input, right? Otherwise there could be timers, interrupt zero, uh, uh, transmitters, receiver interrupts as well. But I have just uh, uh, minimized the circuitry for you people just to make it simple, fight, simplified. So if you want to enable it, you have to enable two different pins. One is it's individual enable, another is GIE enable, right? I hope this uh, 
mechanism of port b change interrupt is clear okay one thing i want to discuss uh, where these port b change interrupts are used these are basically used where we are we talking about level uh, uh, deductor or we are talking about sensors which work on levels right and we are talking about uh, keypad interfacing in keypad interfacing we require at least four different pins so these four pins provide uh, that mechanism so if you are interested to interface a keypad or a keyboard with pic 18f microcontroller so you should use this four b change interrupts right in coming lectures we will see those uh, kind of examples uh, inshallah Okay, that's it from this lecture. If you have any confusion and questions, please post them in comment sections. Uh, your comments are highly appreciated. Thank you so much for listening.